In this chapter, the authors provide an understanding of what ethics mean relative to organizational and strategic communication. They discuss the foundation for practicing ethics based on professional society codes of ethics. They conclude by providing an overview of standard acceptable ethical practices for communication professionals. The term ethics refers to criteria or guidelines for what is right and what is wrong. Ethical criteria are used to guide what to do and what to say in communication situations and to define what constitutes ethical communication. The National Communication Association, or NCA, is the primary professional association for scholars, teachers, and practitioners of communication in the United States. In 1984, an informal group of association members created the Cradle for Ethical Communication. The document serves as a general foundation for thinking about ethical communication and suggests specific ethical considerations for strategic communication professionals. These five core values serve as the backdrop to the NCA credo, which represent those most relevant to strategic communication work. They are namely, first, communication must rely on accurate and truthful information. Second, communicators should consider a diversity of perspectives. Third, respect participant privacy and anonymity and protect confidential information and trust it for them. Fourth, to be ethical, communicators must always keep in mind that they have the potential to make something better. Fifth and lastly, accept short and long-term consequences of our messages. Now, you might be wondering what practitioners have to say. Practitioners have adapted theories of ethical communication to define the ethical principles that guide their daily work in applied settings. Professional societies may require that members sign and adhere to their respective ethical code and typically have sanctions in place for anyone found in violation of the code. What are some of the specialized concerns beyond the general principles addressed by NCA that these practitioner-oriented ethical codes emphasize? The first set of concerns includes adherence to corporate policies and laws, conflicts of interest, and gifts and remuneration. Corporate policies are usually found in documents such as contracts and employee training manuals. Those policies prevent conflicts of interest, which are situations in which the objectives of two parties compete or are incompatible with one another. Additionally, local, state, and federal laws may govern one's work. Laws may prohibit bribery, bribery which, refer, which can be either directly or indirectly receiving something of value in exchange for awarding businesses. The next category contains trade secrets, intellectual property, copyright, and trademarks. This concept builds on the value of confidentiality. Trade secrets refer to formulae, practices, processes, designs, concepts, and on methods that are owned by an organization and that, if leaked, would give other organizations unfair competitive advantage. They are legally protected by trademarks or a legally registered name, symbol, or design that distinguishes an entity from others. It will also include other things such as patents, which refers to the exclusive legal right 
to make or sell an original invention for a specified period of time. It can also be legally protected by copyrights or a legal right to determine if and how others may use some aspect of your work. Proprietary information refers to data that are not public knowledge and that represent an organization's property. Third, the ability to guarantee results. Ethically, you should always avoid finding yourself in the unprofessional position of over-promising and under-delivering results. Collegiality, which can be in both within an organization and across the industry. Collegiality refers to your ability to relate to, work with, and cooperate with people professionally, productively, and in a pro-social manner. Always give credit to others for the work they have done, and never take credit for work or ideas that you are not responsible for. Bullying, harassment, and an abusive communication behavior related to professional activities is always unethical. Avoid bad-mouthing co-workers, clients, and competitors. Avoid potentially damaging gossip or participating in the spread of unfounded rumors. Report violations of ethical principles, policies, and codes. Mentor subordinates relative to collegial behavior and ethical communication. Engage in professional development opportunities that will help enhance you as a skilled co colleague with current knowledge of the field. Also, treat others as you want to be treated. Putting professional ethics into practice requires taking into account the goals of the campaign or message, the intended audience, the channels available to the communicator, as well as the nature of the relationship among the communicators and their history, trust, and perceived credibility. Your professional responsibilities require you to be faithfully committed to your project's purpose. It is your responsibility to be truthful in your communication with all stakeholders. You must be committed to benefiting and not harming the intended audience for your message or messages while protecting the interests of other stakeholders. It is your duty not to benefit beyond the agreed upon compensation for your work. Pro protect proprietary information belonging to your employer or client. Use the best communication practices that you have learned in this book and in your course to establish trusting relationships with stakeholders and to enhance others' favorable perceptions of your organization. You are responsible for ensuring the acceptability and legality of your messaging activities. In summary, being an ethical, responsible communicator will help you accomplish program goals. Ethical behavior and ethical messaging strategies will serve a communication campaign or program very well. Ethical decision-making will enhance stakeholder confidence in you and your messages and serve as the foundation for a program that meets organizational objectives.